So I'm talking about something that you know with the modern age it's kind of everywhere I suppose um, porno, uh, porno videos, things like that, you know, sexually explicit content, things like that. It's all over social media, let's be fair. Um, you know, videos, torture, anonymous, things like that. We have to be, I suppose, people can say, you know, particularly in talking about children here, children could come across them, or even any member of the public, general public can come across them from anywhere, any walk of life. Um, and, it, you know, in, in the case of a child, it, it kind of is the parents that should be watching what the child's doing. To a certain degree, um, and obviously too, it asks questions about the social media companies. Um, take for example, I, I you know, I didn't like seeing what I seen the other day, on Twitter. What happened is the one that pop up. Um, it was somebody tortured hitting the dog, um, no, no content behind it. Um, but somebody hitting the dog with a stick, um, and obviously that's obviously animal abuse, and that's a very serious offence. Um, I, like again, it was a good few times they hit the dog. Um, I obviously reported that treat to Twitter. I don't know what they did with it, but um, hopefully it's gone now. I didn't check in on it. But uh, I'm sure, going by the comments, I had a look at the comments of that treat, for example. Um, many people were shocked that you know, such an individual would do that to a dog, let alone a human. Um, because we all know with psychopaths and things like that, they generally start holding animals and then moving on to humans. Um, and that's what happens. That's what happens with mass mortals and things like that. That's the majority of times they hurt animals and then they hurt a human. Um, but you wouldn't do you wouldn't do it to anybody you know, or torturing a dog or torturing anybody like that, um and obviously sexual explicit content only fans things like that um you know with our lot we you know like on Twitter there's a very dark side of Twitter too, um same on Facebook same on the big social media platforms we need to protect our children um now I'm happy with YouTube at least ch the YouTube has a, a children's mode for YouTube and only children's videos that are specified for children can be watched and obviously that's positive, um I I. Downloaded the app the other day, um, to check it. I, I went into it. You, know, it's only songs, baby songs, things like that. But still, I didn't find any harmful. I looked through it, especially just to see could I come across anything harmful. Um, but again, there's harmful things out there. Um, one thing I do want to briefly touch on. Again, it kind of doesn't touch us, but it, it touches on very, very, disappointing and very disrespectful, to anybody, and that is making fun of somebody's debt. Um, now we've seen this. Um. There's an Irish YouTuber called Jack Sapley, who's a very big YouTuber in Ireland, um, from that loan I take down there, um, down that direction. But um, last year his father died, unfortunately, and I just want to offer my condolences to his family. It's, it's, it's a terrible thing when you're, when Jack Sapley, if anybody's father dies, um, especially when you're so close to them. Um, and obviously that was, it, it's obviously hard when you're a public figure, um, especially if you're a YouTuber, things, it's very hard. To keep your private life out of that, um, to keep your private people from knowing that your unfortunate father passed away, um, and we obviously now I was look I seen a few videos pop over the last few months, um, seen people talk about it, and it's 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 really is disgusting. Some people what they're saying about uh, Jack Sapley's father, that even though they didn't know him or anything, um, you know again this these people that are doing this, you know they should be brought up, they shouldn't get away with it, um, it, it doesn't matter who any anybody any if you wake it up anybody that died. Um, there was a few YouTubers that died, um, and people made, you know, very sick, twisted videos. You know, talking, you know, talking, basically talking bad of the dead, um, and making up scandalous accusations, um. And you know we do have to, we do have to do something. As, again, I I took the upon myself the other day too. I seen one of these videos because it was that disturbing. I did think it was that disturbing. Um, to report it to YouTube, and I did automatically, and I even wrote an email to YouTube to remove it. Um, and I'm happy to say that video is gone now. It wasn't a very popular video, it only had something like a thousand views. But isn't that the point? I found it very disrespectful. I, I was putting myself in my shoe. If my father died, um, you know, I, I wouldn't want someone to make a video um, of that. I'd be very upset. As Jack Septica has every right to be upset. That people are making fun of his father, his father dying, um, and I'm sure everybody would agree with me. We take of our fathers, you know, we 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 adored and we cherished them because they brought us into the world, along with our mothers, um, and you know we have to, you know, we have to tell you, we we can't be having people making fun of you know our father and our mother when they pass away, because obviously you lost a huge fight in your life, and you don't want people making fun of it at the same time, you know it's hard enough losing your lo your loved one without people making fun of you. Um, and again, I've tried for the YouTube that YouTube did take that down, but there's other videos out there, um, and I did get the response from YouTube too, so I'm just wanting to say thank you to YouTube for that, 
um, because I did find it very offensive. For, again, I was just putting myself into his shoes. That, you know, if ever I lost my father, I wouldn't want to see somebody being treated in that way, especially when they have done died and they can't, they can't, they're not here to defend themselves. It's not, it's not right and it's not fair. Um, and it's not the right thing to do. And I say that straight to people, it's not fair. It really isn't fair. Um, but again, we do have to take a stand. There's a certain thing the social media companies need to regulate these things. Um, because, you know, there is free speech. There is free speech. But it comes to a point, you know, when you do go over the line, uh, and really just push the line. There's some things on YouTube too that do push the line, really, really do push the line. Um, I've seen people talk about different things, like Logan Paul, for example, going into the suicide forest in Japan. That's 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 pushing. That's very much pushing the line to the boundaries and filming the body. Um, that's that's going above and pushing the line, especially because his his audience is based on children, um, and then putting it up on your YouTube channel for your children to see it. Um, without even said so in it, and at one, uh, at one stage in time where he took it down. But, um, you know, something like that. You know, you can't just get a slap in the wrist and say, oh, it's fine, oh, I was forgiven. Because God knows how many children got scoured um, by seeing that. I know myself, you know, I would be terrified, to, even if I was an adult, even seeing a dead body or, or anything. Um, I would be terrified. And again, it is a certain point to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. The crackdown on people that want to express their opinion. This is the thing that always gets me annoyed. People who would just express their opinion, you know, you should get cracked on, cracked down harder than the people who do something wrong. With these people who are, you know, making fun of people who died, um, hurting animals, um, you know, these people shouldn't be, they shouldn't be on any social media platform and doing this carry, this kind of thing. Um, they should be, in the world, apart from, you know, well, they should really face some legal consequences anyway. They say at the end of the day, lamb abuse is a very serious crime, especially in this country. Um, and I do say to people, if you do see these things, to report them, because, you know, it's not right. Um, and some people might say it's not my duty to report it, but it's your duty as a person who sees it. And, you know, I, again, I took it upon myself to report them two things I've seen. Um, because, you know, I wasn't going to let a child see it um, and you know take that's okay to make fun of people who died um, or take for example seeing somebody abusing the dog and then taking then doing it because they think it's okay because that's what children do take in their head um, and that's something we have to snap out and say you know that's not allowed it shouldn't be accepted and it's not accepted in society and it's not accepted online even though know, there is a fine line between society and online um, and obviously in some things you're entitled to your free speech I don't want to say to people that you're not entitled to your free speech but there's a point, again there's a barrier that you can't cross um, and that is you know, doing that to people that you don't even know and you know, that's the barrier you don't cross and then hoarding animals, hoarding humans and putting videos up, that's that's a barrier you, you can't cross um, and we need to be very firm on that as, if people, as people who are on social media we can't allow that to happen, whatever about putting up pornographic images on a social media platform where children could access them or videos or whatever. Um, you know, that's not as bad as these the animal abuse or anything. That. That's not as bad. But it still shouldn't be done on a public platform where innocent children can see it. And I know it sounds like a big conservative, but it's just, it's, you know, it's not right. It's not, it's not accepted in society for a, a woman or a man to walk on the street naked. It's not accepted. Um, and it shouldn't be accepted online. Um, but then, take care everybody, um, let me know what to take. Um, I do say to people who do come across these videos, it's not for, it's not for you, if you do, it's not for your sake, but it's for who could see it afterwards, a child. You know, and it's not white, it's not white what's happened, some things that are happening in life, and I say that straight to you. Um, and it is our duty, you know, to, to do a bit, it's supposed to make the internet a small bit safer by reporting things. Um, obviously, people using the free speech on internet don't report that, obviously. But um, it's it's people that are breaking the law, and this is um abuse is breaking the law, um you're basically mean, very mean to somebody who passed away or anything like that, uh, or even body people, to a certain degree um you know, that's obviously there's laws against that, um and we do have to quiet down on these things. Thank you.